Hello and welcome to another Spectacular Thing. In my Raspberry Pi 4 NAS Part 3 video, I said today we are going to install Ubuntu, ZFS, and Samba. Someone in the comments pointed out that you do not show installing Ubuntu. How do you write the Ubuntu server to an image? Today I'm going to show you how to do that. The Raspberry Pi Software Imager. To do that, you go to raspberrypi.com, click on Software, and then download it right here. You can download it for Windows, Mac OS, and Ubuntu. I already have this downloaded and installed, and this is what it looks like when it's up and running. As of this recording, I have version 1.7.2, and that's important, and I'll show you why in just a minute. First, you want to choose the operating system. It will automatically download the operating system as, as it's installing it. So their recommendation is Raspberry Pi OS 32-bit and this is the min middle version. It's not the light, it's not the full desktop, it's the middle version of it and it's recommended. It's 0.8 gigabyte download. You can click the Raspberry Pi OS other badge to see what other operating systems you can download. For example, here's the OS Lite 32-bit, there's the full 32-bit, the 64-bit, the Lite 64-bit, and the Legacy. Uh, this is the one that, this is the old Raspbian operating system that's based on Buster. And there's an old Legacy Lite version that's also based on Buster. Now if we go back, other general purpose OS's includes Ubuntu, Manjaro, Apert Apertis, I don't know, Ap Apertis, Risk OS, and that's it. So under Ubuntu, we have 2110 desktop 64-bit for the RPi4 and the 400. We have 2110 server 32-bit for all the operating for all the Raspberry Pis. 2110 64-bit server for the 3, 4, and 400. 2004 32-bit, 2004 64-bit, and then the cores, Ubuntu Core 20 and Ubuntu Core 20 64-bit. Now, today is April 24th, 2022, so Ubuntu Desktop 2204 hasn't made it into this list yet, but I anticipate any, month, any day now it should, it should show up. 2204 is the new long-term support version of Ubuntu. For this demonstration, I'm going to use the 64-bit 2204 long-term support. Next we want to choose storage and for that I've got a I've got a 32 gigabyte SanDisk Ultra SD card that I'm going to insert in and then we can choose storage and you can see it appears. Now before we click right we want to click this gear icon. Before this was hidden under a control shift D I think but now it's got its own settings button. You can set the host name, you can enable SSH, and this is where this is important. You can set the username and password right here. So you can change this, say Todd, and the password um I don't know. Something like that. I'm going to enable SSH and use password authentication. You can select to configure LAN, wireless LAN. I'm going to leave that off for now. I'm going to change the locale settings so that it's correct <laughs> for me. And I'm going to change the host name also. Raspberry Pi. Well, I think Raspberry Pi is a good name. I'll leave it at that for now. Then we click Save. And then you can click right. Yes, I want to continue. Now it's preparing and writing to the disk. As it writes to the disk, it's also 
downloading the image from the internet. So the write may take longer than normal based on how fast your download speeds are. I'll fast forward this so that we don't have to wait. Now it's finished writing to the card and we can remove the SD card from the reader. It automatically unmounts the device, the USB device, so that we don't ruin the disk. And that's, that's it. Now let me boot into this on a Raspberry Pi. And now that we've booted up, we can log in with our credentials that we created earlier. And we're in. Just do an update to make sure everything is up to date. Oh. <laughs> First thing you should do is make sure that the time is set correctly. Then we can do sudo date. And it will show the correct time. Now we want to apt update and sudo apt upgrade. And it should work fine this time. And that's it. That's how you set up Ubuntu on a Raspberry Pi. If you have any questions, please leave them below in the comment section, and I will do my best to answer them. If you like this video, please go ahead and subscribe to watch more videos in the future, and ring the bell so that you're notified when I publish new videos. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.